Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you this new collection released by one of my favorite puzzle companies, One But Many. One But Many is a small woman owned company based in Brisbane, Australia. They released their very first puzzle collection just over a year ago and now they've just released their third collection. Uh, they pride themselves on not just creating beautiful puzzles, but puzzles that are also very high quality, unique, and also educational. However, one of the most important things they do is give back to the community by donating 5% of proceeds from each puzzle sale to PANDA. PANDA stands for Perinatal Anxiety and Depression Australia, and is something that's really close to the founder Megan's heart. Uh, also, with every collection, they feature Australian themes, working with Australian artists and creatives. So the first collection is called Natives, and it showcases some of Australia's stunning native flowers and plants. The second collection called Summer uh, features some really beautiful, bright, um, colorful illustrations that really capture elements of an Aussie summer. And now finally, this third collection is called Home and features the beautiful, nostalgic and whimsical artwork of Australian artist, Alice Chu. So in a minute, I'm gonna be uh, having a closer look at all these puzzles and I'm going to pick one to unbox and I'll also be piecing that one together uh, Also, all the puzzles are available on the one but many website, which I've linked down below and They ship both Australia wide and also internationally and just a heads up um, This video is not exactly a review since I'm already biased towards their puzzles and I really love their puzzles um, but I did buy or the uh, puzzles with my own money and except for one which I won in a competition. So let's get on to having a closer look at these gorgeous puzzles. All right, so let's have a closer look at these fun puzzles. So this first one is a very like colorful, uh, lively beach scene. So there's like sort of lots of adults and kids and even a dog with a Frisbee. But yeah, basically just looks like a typical sort of sunny summer day at a like very popular beach. So there's like um, you know, adults sunbaking and sleeping, some kids like playing checkers, I think, a dog that wants to play frisbee. There's even um, someone like buried in sand over here. And yeah, lots of people with their fish and chips. And yeah, but it looks like a lot of fun and really colorful. And I like that they're like so many details packed in here. So yeah, definitely not a boring puzzle at all. Um, so the next puzzle, Almost like it's the same artist, but it almost feels like quite a different style, I think, because of the line work going in like the water. Um, oh, I forgot to mention this one is called Port Ferry and um, Port Ferry is actually like a coastal town in Victoria, Australia. Not sure if I've been there, maybe as a kid. So but it looks like a really pretty town. So I might have to pay it a visit sometime when we can travel again in Australia. Um, but yeah, I really love the colors and just love that sort of line work and sort of gradients, different tones of bluey, greeny aquas of the water. But yeah, basically sort of features like a sort of lively, um, maybe a weekend scene at Port Ferry where people are sort of doing different activities in the water and, you know, the, the town kind of looks bustling. Um, yeah, it's sort of got some houses and or the boats moored at the port and yeah it just looks like a just a pretty scene at port ferry so yeah i'm looking forward to that one and another one in the collection is called the burbs as in the suburbs and yeah basically seems to feature another sort of aussie town or maybe like a more rural area i say that because the reason why it's not a city town or city suburb I guess is because it has the Country Women's Association and they seem to be across all of Australia but they tend to be in more rural or country towns not in the city hence the name but um yeah I really like the colors in this one it's just just really pretty bright colors definitely like definitely my style um yeah and there's so many details there's like you know all these like shops and houses that are you know, got people out and about. There's a lady with her dog peeing on the grass. Lovely. Um, someone walking the stroller. Um, what else? I'm pretty sure I saw a cat in here earlier. 
it's definitely a cat. I can't remember where I saw it. And there's like, you know, people eating at the local bakery. But yeah, it just looks like a really fun sort of like scene. So that one looks like should be like interesting to put together. And the last one in the collection is called, this one's called Grand's Window. And again, this one's like a bit more similar to the style of the Port Fairy one with all the sort of patterns, the line work and these sort of gradients and different shades of like greens and browns and yeah, and even has this sort of lavender color in the top. But yeah, basically it's like looking outside of, I guess it's meant to be like your grandma's window who and she lives maybe in the country or a more rural, peaceful area. And so kind of looking at the rolling Australian hills and some sheep there and magpies, which is a very Australian thing. So yeah, it just looks really peaceful. And I really like the colors, um, kind of like up here and over this side, um, sort of turns into this beautiful sort of purples. Like, I guess it must be like maybe the sunset or early sunrise, I'm not sure, but yeah, it's just really, really pretty, really peaceful. So yeah, this one looks like a beautiful puzzle to put together as well. So um, in a minute, I'm gonna have a think about which one of these I'd like to puzzle and we'll unbox it and have a look at everything that's included with the puzzle. Okay, so that was a pretty tough decision since I really like all of the puzzles in this collection, but I finally made my choice, which is this one, which is Grand's uh, Window. Um, I basically just decided this one kind of fit my mood today, just, you know, relaxed and just something very chill and peaceful. So yeah, that kind of fit what I was feeling and what I was looking for today. Um, so let's have a look at the box first before we open it up. So yeah, the front, um, well actually the whole box, it doesn't show the whole puzzle um, image. It just sort of, it does wrap around, but I believe there's actually even more of the whole image that's not shown on the front of the box. Um, but yeah, it does have this sort of wrap around glossy uh, logo, which is cool. and. It's got the piece count, which is 1000 and tells you the size, 70 by 50 centimeters. I'm not sure what that is in inches, I'm sorry. The name of the collection home and then the name of the puzzle. And then what else is there? Um, again, just on the long sides, it's just got the logo, piece count, and also that it's Australian owned puzzles. So. That's pretty cool. And then on the back, there's quite a bit of information as well. So it's got here puzzle people and it has like a fun little blurb about sort of puzzling and people's experience with puzzles. Um, so that's kind of like a fun touch. And then it's got information about the company One But Many and also has a blurb about telling you a bit about Alice Chu and like her artwork and the story behind her artwork. Um, yeah. So, and then of course, oh, and a tells you about the organization Panda and how the 5% of the proceeds go to them for each sale. Yep, so let's open this up. Oh, it's also like a really nice quality box, like just very sturdy and just feels beautiful, beautifully made. So, okay, so inside the box lid is actually a reference image of the whole the whole puzzle picture, which might actually be what's on the whole front of the box too, but yeah. But here we have it uninterrupted. Um, and it's got a cute little line of text down the bottom. You can do it, share your progress with us at One But Many Puzzles. So it's kind of cute. And then, so I'm not too surprised by what's in here because like I said, I've, um, I'm a fan of the company and I actually own the previous two collections. So I sort of am familiar with what to expect. But one of my favorite things is this beautiful zipper cloth pouch with their logo one but many embroidered on the front. I think that's just a really nice luxurious touch and just makes it really special and collectible. Um, yeah, so all your pieces are already in the pouch, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'll pop that there. And then another thing which I really like is this really huge reference reference picture. So yeah, Woo. sorry. Yeah, it's pretty big. Um, not gonna like lose any little details on with this one. So yeah, I think it's really good. Like I like that it includes 
the really large poster if you're looking especially if you're having trouble with smaller details or you just want a bigger reference picture but also then the smaller I guess more convenient reference picture in the lid so yeah I think that's cool that it's got both options okay let me try and fold this up um and actually something to note um, in the I think the first two collections like I did mention they do try to make their puzzles educational um, and why the way the reason why I say that is because in the first two collections because they feature like plants and animals wherever there's something that you could learn something from they've included like a key so like one of their puzzles included like native plants and so this poster is not only a reference picture but they included a key of what the different like plants and flowers were and the same with like um the collection number two there was like Australian birds and then sea life and then on each of those reference um posters they also included a key of what each one was so I think that's a nice touch that they try to make things educational where they can so yeah it's pretty cool um, and then it's not just a empty box we have um, like a I think it's yeah it's a it's some more of the like little illustrations by the artist which I think feature in the puzzle which is really cute and like a little you probably won't be able to see it on camera but the blue isn't just blue it's actually sort of like a faded um, like print of the image but yeah all the text is actually a poem so that's a really nice touch I think so it's like I think the po I guess the poem's called home salty hair texture and sunscreen slick just to spend some energy risk the wind calling the frisbee out to sea feel safe enough to get cranky lie back and feel lovely let prickly legs and underarms salute the sun so that's the first verse I won't go into reading the rest but yeah just it's a really nice touch to sort of add that and it, I guess it kind of gives a nice feel and setting to this whole collection called home like it kind of gives you visuals as to what this collection is about and sets the sort of atmosphere and yeah sets the scene so yeah I really like that um, yeah so I think you get quite a lot in in your puzzle and um, yeah just makes for like I said a really nice sort of collector's puzzle and a beautiful gift if you ever receive this um, yeah so now that we've unboxed it I say we start sorting pieces and piecing this thing together so one of the most important things I forgot to show you in the unboxing just before is the pieces of course so well since now I'm about to start sorting the puzzle pieces now's a great time to have a look at them so let's unzip this and pour them out also um, from my experience with these um, puzzles whoop, um, there's like barely any puzzle dust which is great like you I noticed that like there's not much like puzzle dust left in this fabric bag so yeah that's really awesome like I've just been doing a puzzle before this and it was like filled with puzzle dust so definitely was sneezing a bit and um, being a bit snuffy so just such a relief when you don't have to contend with puzzle dust yeah so already I can see um, yeah these are just really nice and colorful like the printing is just really high quality um, yeah just like looks, looks good quality um, looks colorful bright clear um, yeah so your pieces are sort of they're not completely standard so they are like for the most part they are but there's a few that are sort of I guess a little bit off-centered or a little bit like I don't know diagonal um, so it's kind of nice to have like a bit of a mix of pieces like there some are standard but some are a little bit like skewed and things like that um, yeah so that kind of I think makes the puzzle a bit more interesting and maybe even a little bit easier to put together um, so the piece as for the piece quality um, it, they're quite like they have a they're quite sturdy and they have a sort of um, like I guess grayish cardboard backing so there's no like paper backing which I've said before I actually prefer this because I think it's less likely to 
have peeling occurring on your pieces. Um, I just kind of like it. It's nice and simple, very classic puzzle. So yeah, I, I like that. It's just sort of got that simple cardboard on the back. And um, yeah, it's a reasonable thickness. Like they feel very, very sturdy. They don't feel like they're gonna bend. I can't see any like damaged pieces at all. Like everything looks very intact. So yeah, I think like nice quality, nice thickness. Um, and then the top, the front of the puzzle piece, like your picture side, I guess, is um, there's sort of like a very slight gloss. Um, they feel very smooth, but they're definitely not high gloss, but yeah, just a little bit of, just a very slight gloss on them, I would say. Um, but they sort of feel like a nice sort of gloss, semi-gloss, I guess, or low sheen, smooth kind of like paper or cardboard finish. Um, but yeah, they just feel very nice. Um, feel very, yeah, sturdy, good quality. Yeah, I um, don't think there's too much else to say about the pieces really. Um, I, from memory, they fit really well together, like not too tight and not super loose. And um, yeah, I don't remember having any trouble with them in the last collections at all. So definitely looking forward to working with this piece style and quality again. Um, so I figure before putting this together, I'm just going to talk a bit about how I'm going to start sorting. Um, so that's an awful lot of green or a lot of lovely green in this puzzle. Um, but they're sort of all different types. So I think I'm going to like try and pull out there's, I don't know if you can see it, but basically the green sort of checkered pattern, which is like the, um, what do you call it? Like the pull down awning, not curtains, but yeah, like pull down, like sort of awning. No, it's not an awning. Anyway, like a cover, not curtains, but like a thing you pull down to cover the window as well. <laughs> I can't think of what it's called, but um, yeah, I'm gonna like try and pull out that sort of checkered fabric because I think that should be like pretty distinct and easy to find. Um, like, let's see, okay. Yeah, so like that's already some, oh yeah. So it's it's pretty easy to see because it's like quite a light, like the background's white and so it's quite pastel looking compared to like some of the other greens which are like quite dark. So I'm definitely gonna pull out like a lot of those because um, I think like that's a nice little chunk of puzzle to do. And then I might even like thinking about it now, pull out some of this purple sort of pinky gradient sky because I can already see some of these pieces in here, um, even with like bits of tree, like they're pretty distinct because there's like not really any other like large sections of purple. Like there's a few little knickknacks and ornaments and I guess some flowers down here, which are purple, but they look pretty different than this sort of sky section. So I feel like it's gonna be pretty easy to um, distinguish like sky from like other purple parts. So yeah, so probably gonna do those two. And then, I don't know, like, I feel like I can, I can almost work my way down or like through the puzzle because I can do like the sort of green curtain awning thing, the purple sky, then even these sort of like little browny, orangey, pinky trees and the sort of brown like, I guess, hills. And I guess like, this, um, like these green rolling hills will probably be the largest bit. Um, and then I can also probably find these like little, these little lavender flowers, which are probably pretty easy. And of course these magpies, I can probably pull those out. So yeah, I'm just sort of gonna like separate it into sections like, and pull out pieces accordingly. Um, and I, yeah, I'll pro, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I might also pull out, um, border pieces too actually now that I think of it because I think there's enough variety around the edges of the puzzle to be able to like sort of figure out where uh, the border pieces are gonna go. So I'll do that now as well, which means actually pulling out some of these because some of these are border. So there's probably actually not gonna be that much of these sort of like awning pieces, but that's all right. Yeah, so I'm gonna, sort a bit more, not everything. I'm not gonna like completely sort everything, but enough to sort of get me going and get started. And um, yeah, I'm 
kind of going to set myself up for a good like solid probably a few hours of puzzling actually that's kind of how I like to do it like I'm a bit of an intense puzzler I like to just get a whole lot of puzzling done in one go I'm not really sort of a puzzle that kind of like walks past my puzzle and puts a few pieces in and <laughs> keeps going I tend to like really focusing and getting in the puzzle zone um, yeah so I'm going to sort a bit more and um, get started on putting this together and then I'll probably come back to you maybe around the halfway point or after I've done a good chunk of the puzzle and we'll have a chat about how it's going and piece fit and all that so yeah I'm looking forward to putting this one together it looks really beautiful and yeah I can't wait to see it finished so see you in a little while So that was a good solid three-ish hours of puzzling that I've spent on this. Um, probably good to have a break and not do three hours straight like I did because uh, you end up being a bit sore and tired. Um, but yeah, definitely with those three hours, I would, I, yeah, I can see that I've definitely gone more than halfway, mainly because I just found it really hard to stop. So I guess that's a sign of a good puzzle when, you know, you're finding it quite addictive and like fun and entertaining and enjoy enjoyable that you just don't want to stop so yeah I really had to like rein in some control and make myself stop um, yeah and I've really yeah I really love how it's turned out the colors are beautiful like these sort of beautiful soft pastels and just very calming relaxing beautiful colors um, and the details are really pretty like there's some a sort of Love the details of the trees and clouds up here and then all these little knick-knack things sort of on the kitchen windowsill. I'm guessing it's a kitchen just because there's like some cleaning up rubber gloves and things. But yeah, like lots of cute little details and I love the magpies as well. Um, yeah, and so in terms of like the quality so far, it's definitely just as good as I remember from the last series of puzzles. Um, the fit's really good, uh, not too tight, not too loose. Um, you can like pick up sections pretty well without them breaking too much. So yeah, that's super handy for just working on something close to you and then like moving it later on. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. And 
pretty much zero puzzle dust so that's fantastic um, yeah and and I like that it's like a very minimal gloss like I haven't had to really haven't had any trouble seeing it under my uh, dining room light so that's fantastic um, yeah so I think that's all I've got to say about this I guess oh I guess one more thing is that um, some of the bits like I remember what these are called they're called blinds um, they end up being harder than I thought even though they're a small section just because of the sort of uh, like checkered crisscross pattern ended up being a little tricky to kind of match but got there in the end and then other things like the sky which I thought might be harder were kind of easier and same with some of these hills so so yeah like but overall like not super difficult like a nice level of challenge um, and although the next sort of parts that I've got might be the most challenging because I've basically got a box of green and green hills and sheep in here so mostly green and a few trees and then over here I've pulled out um, what I believe is like a sort of balcony railing so that goes along here and here so that might be a little tricky as well um, so I'm not sure how long that's going to take but I don't think it's going to take me three hours hopefully only another hour or two hours max I hope fingers crossed um, so yeah wish me luck with that and yeah I'm gonna get on to finishing this puzzle and I will speak to you with my final thoughts when I'm done Okay, so I'm back and I finished the puzzle and that last section of green and balcony railing actually took a lot less time than I expected. It only took about an hour. So all up that only took me about four hours, which is very quick. Um, but that being said, I really focused and got into some intense puzzling, whereas normally I'd be like relaxing a lot more and watching YouTube or TV or something like that and snacking. So that all slows you down when you're puzzling. Um, so yeah but I really like how it's turned out just a really beautiful pretty and calming and relaxing image I really like it I like that the perspective is sort of from I guess grandma's window in her lovely country home in Australia beautiful rolling hills and wildlife and like a lovely sunset or sunrise yeah so just a lot of beautiful details and color and I really love these sort of lines on the rolling hills uh, really emphasizes their roundness um, yeah so I really really like it uh, definitely going to be one of my favorite puzzles for sure um, I think it'd be really nice as well like you know if you're the sort of person who wants to frame this it would look really nice as a piece on your wall um, speaking of the artwork as well um, I'm pretty sure this collection and the other two collections um, the artworks all been made exclusively for one but many so I think that's really cool that like quite special that this artwork is theirs exclusively and you're not gonna like see it on any other puzzles so that's pretty cool um, yeah so in terms of the puzzling experience um, I really found the pieces like really high quality um, they just fit together really well and uh, like not too loose not too tight I can like still like take pieces out pretty easily um, also like zero puzzle dust um, oh and no false fits either and the pieces weren't glary at all like I didn't have any problems seeing what I was doing under my lighting um, yeah so let's sort of talk price point um, so these retail for 60 Australian dollars which is definitely on the high end of puzzle prices in Australia um, I think like most mainstream kind of brands range from about 25 to 35 it may be even 40 dollars in stores in Australia so puzzles here aren't really that cheap unless you're buying something cheap from Kmart so 
But yeah, this one is definitely on the high end, probably more a luxury gift price point. Um, so let's talk about what you get for that price. So you're getting obviously a beautiful exclusive artwork um, and really nice quality pieces. You get your lovely little reusable zipper bag with the um, logo embroidered on, which I really like these. I just think they add like a sort of more luxury special touch, just makes it more collectible and keeps your puzzle nice. Um, yeah, it just makes it feel special. Plus I think like they're kind of handy too. Like if you want to go traveling and just chuck this in your suitcase without the box and stuff, like you can do that and save a bit of space. So it's pretty cool. Um, of course the giant reference post is great. Um, like I definitely use this. Um, I, it was like, it's a big enough size that I just had it laid out a fair way away from me, but I could still see a lot of the small details and see everything in it. So yeah, great size. Um, also, I like that you've got this and also the references in the box. So if more than one person's working on this, you, you don't have to share the box lid. You, you know, you can both have like a reference picture. Yeah, so that's great. And of course, yeah, you get the beautiful and high quality sturdy box um, with all like the blurb and info on the back. It has the poem inside and also the smaller reference picture on the inside as well. Um, and I have to say, as someone who has the other two collections on shelves in their spare room, they look really nice. They're definitely a talking point and a very nice like collector's item. I have them all like lined up together and they just look really pretty, really beautiful. So um, if that's your thing, definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, so I'd say for the price or like even if the price was different, I highly recommend the the one but many puzzles and recommend this collection um, like I said like I'm biased because I already I knew that I was going to enjoy this because I already have the first two collections which I just love and are some of my favorite puzzles ever um, and this collection is no exception like I love this particular puzzle design and the other three I can't wait to do them so I've definitely see them staying in my favorites collection for like forever pretty much. So yeah. Um, and I think for the price, like it's not just great for collectors, but if you're looking for a gift for someone um, or to get something like a, some sort of family keepsake or heirloom that you can do with your family and pass on to your kids and that sort of thing. I think these puzzles are a great option. Um, they're just sort of, yeah, just special. And especially if you are, Australian, I think, I mean, and for anyone really, but for us, us Aussies, you can really connect with these Australian elements and sort of um, scenes and stories. So yeah, I think they're really special, particularly as an Australian, but yeah, I think they're beautiful for anyone. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend. And I guess in the comments below, let me know, like, what did you think of this puzzle? Is it your cup of tea? Like, you know, did you like the colors and the design? Um, or did you prefer one of the others in the collection? And have you done any one but many puzzles, um, one, one but many puzzle like collections before, like either the natives collection or the summer collection? Um, and, or, and are you planning on grabbing this collection if you haven't already? So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you want more puzzle content, you can check me out over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore juby. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye. All right, let's try a puzzle pickup. Ta-da.